<laughs> All right, here we go. So welcome back to the channel. You can see I got some nasty stuff uh, to deal with. It's leaking. And you can see I've removed the under tray, took out the overflow bottle, kind of eliminating some stuff. And uh, I got uh, the inner fender well and the lower engine tray. And what I ended up doing is purchasing a coolant pressure tester. You can see uh, it's right about one PSI right now. I could probably pump it up and get it back up to five so this thing will really start leaking. But if we come back up here and look, there is really, I can't really tell where it's coming from. So, Next thing on the list is to remove the fan shroud because that does not look good at all. Well, here's one that I've really never come across before, but I found my leak. If I'm quiet, you can hear it. Actually, it's pretty loud, but watch this pulley. I don't know if you can see that or not, but that is a bad water pump. 90% sure of. So let's take a look. Well, got one last booger of a bolt. I don't know if you can see that there, but it is really giving me some issues. It's out. There it is. That's the weep hole for the water pump. Okay. All right, I guess I can sleep now. All right, so we found the leak. It's a bad water pump. All right, so we know it's a bad water pump. So I'm gonna check with the previous owner and see if he changed it back in 2017 or if he changed it when he did the last timing belt, which was just last April. So um, yeah, coolant looked fine. Everything worked fine. Like I said, the car ran perfectly. No issues, didn't even overheat. Um, yeah. If I do the electric water pump, it'll get rid of this. Oh, you can even hear that. Oh, that thing is done. Yep, no bueno, okay. So anyway, long story short, new water pump. Thank goodness it wasn't one of those hoses in the back like a lot of people were telling me. Uh, well, it's one of the main reasons by why I got this car is because supposedly he had the engine out and replaced all the hoses with all these silicone guys. So not just the ones you can see. Um, he has it documented where he changed everything. Um, I did notice when I got it up in the air, I do have a nice little oil leak. And I'm not sure if that's just blown out from the... from the uh, oil dipstick there. Uh, I am going to get into the PCV system and kind of delete the PCV, if you will, because uh, where I'm going, 
there is no PCV with the ash spec intake. So um, we will get there slowly but surely. All right. Thanks again for watching. Thanks for subscribing, uh, liking, comment, all that good stuff. Thanks for watching. Like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. Talk to you guys later.